that's 80 to 1. In a bull market, you should expect 50 to 1. There is a lot more room for silver, a lot. And, and so I'm telling you, I'm giving you a controversial call again here. The next big move is in silver. It's going to 36 and it's going to happen in no time. What's up you guys it's ocean here today we're back with lior gantz founder and president of wealth research group for another interview lior welcome back to the channel thank you for having me yeah on this glorious day <laughs> yeah no kidding lots of excitement in precious metals right now spot prices are running wild for gold and silver uh my first question is have we established new price floors absolutely for gold uh we're look we're in a bull market and i think if you want to set the precedence for your audience this is the number one thing to remember leave everything behind this is a bull market it's a bull market just just say it until you believe it it, it is a bull market and precious metals this is not retail doing this this is not an end to a cycle not at all it's not a fake out there's not a, a surge it is a real bona fide bonanza bull market in precious metals uh for gold absolutely the floor is now the past all-time high so 2067 is definitely support for silver let me look right now um as we speak it's at 2974 so it just it just breached it just uh surpassed it's a uh, um it's massive resistance at 2950 uh, it's going to 36. it's going to 36 very quickly Th this is gonna it's not gonna take long it could be weeks it's going higher a lot a lot higher bull market just just repeat it until you believe it thank you yeah that that it's it's just so exciting to see this you know, it's. <laughs> I, I think a lot of stackers have been waiting for a long time for um, this appreciation in in terms of U.S. dollars. Um, so it's it's really cool to see. And is is there a clear cut answer to this question? What's a better buy right now, gold or silver? Absolutely silver. Why why is silver a better buy right now? In a bull market, you want to own silver. You want to own silver, you want to own silver assets, you want to know, you want to own uh, the mining stocks. Look, uh, about a month ago, I came back from Switzerland. I made a huge uh, trade into GDXQ. It's up 100% in one month, um, even less than one month. It's not even one month uh, until uh, the 18th. It This is a bull market. You need to change your entire mindset to bull market. This is how you move in a bull market. In a bull market, you go for... Uh, the high quality um, uh, uh, quality assets in a bear market, gold is far better than than uh, silver. Look at 1971 till today. You had a 20 year bear market between 1982 and, and 2001. You had another bear market between 2011 and 2015. Um, in bear market times, gold uh, does much better than uh, than silver because silver uh, goes down harder in a bear market and goes a lot higher. In bull markets we are still even if we kind of even it out let's say 2400 gold and, and uh, 30 silver that's an 80 to 1 that's 80 to 1 in a bull market you should expect 50 to 1. there is a lot more room for silver a lot what's the typical duration of a bull market um well the first bull market uh in our era was the 1971 till 1974 one then he had a big smash uh, when uh, when the Fed basically uh, declared victory over inflation, the inflation scare was over uh, with the oil shock. And then you had another bull market, 1975 till 1980. So it could be three years, it could be five years. Then you had a 20-year bear market with mini, mini bull markets. So cyclical bull and bears, but not secular. Uh, and now we've been in a secular bull market that started in 2015, um, which did have bear markets in it. Cyclical bear markets but within secular bull markets and now we have the double we have a secular bull market and a cyclical bull market within the secular bull market i, I know i'm, I'm kind of mincing uh s words here uh, in c words but uh, at the end of the day what you need to uh to know 
is until such time as either the Fed rethinks its stance on inflation and says, you know, we said it will be bumpy, but this is uh, going erratic and therefore we have to raise rates uh, to stave this off. If this happens, the narrative is done and you'll have to start taking profit and uh, trim the position until they rethink that narrative. But as long as bumpy is okay for the sake of uh, uh, the economy, in other words, they'll let inflation run hot and unemployment stay very low. Uh, they have a dual mandate, right? And they favor unemployment to inflation, basically, uh, at this point. As long as this is as this is the case, this is what you're going to see. And I love it. I absolutely love it. And uh, if you start hearing the Fed talking about the need to raise rates, uh, then uh, start looking at, at your position. But until such time, uh, it's a clear runway. It, this is a beautiful, beautiful bull market. That's a great way for us to look at it. Thanks for breaking that down. And I have to say, you were absolutely right. Last time we spoke in January, you, you said that once this takes off, there's going to be $20, 30 $40 days. And here we are. It's only two months later. And uh, we're in this bull market. And it's just so exciting. It is. Um, you know, uh, uh, to make controversial calls, you need to be a grown up. You, you can't you can't make controversial calls after after the fact. And I remember in June 2022 and in October 2022, I issued two alerts saying uh, in June I said that it was the bottom for stocks. Uh, they rallied all the way to August and then tested the lows again in October. And I said if you download the, my portfolio, wealthresearchgroup.com forward slash portfolio. If you download that portfolio, that portfolio will outperform in 2023. And in 2022, between October and the end of the year, it was already outperforming the NASDAQ. In 2023, it was up 54%. And, and so I'm telling you, I'm giving you a controversial call again here. The next big move is in silver. It's going to 36, and it's going to happen in no time. Um, the, uh, it, it, the resistance has been breached at... 29 and a half. The size of the move was seven dollars between 22 and a half and 29 and a half. The resistance and the support is going to inverse, it's going to shoot up, and it's not going to take long. And before you think I'm uh, euphoric or, or uh, too bullish, I'm not. I'm going to look at this uh, consistently. And if there's something wrong with the thesis, anyone that's uh, subscribed to Wealth Research Group, to our newsletter, He's going to uh, be informed exactly of if I change my mind. Um, but for now, the, the bull market is on. It is time to look, uh, it's time to heavily be involved in uh, in the quality mining stocks. Some of them that I've, I'm involved with uh, uh, have doubled in the last month and, and have so much more to go. So, um, yeah, it, it, it is uh, an exciting time. When you started off, um you you address that it's not the retail investors that are driving the demand in gold and that was another one of my questions who's buying gold right now well let me ask you are you buying gold right now are you buying physical i'm buying physical yes well there you go how much are you buying you're buying more or less than uh, normal at, at these all-time highs it's about the same well that's the stacker and if the stacker is not bullish Right, you're a stacker. You're not the general public, even. You're a stacker. You, you, you. Uh, your strategy to dollar cost efforts, correct? You just yes. buy all the time, no matter what's happening. Well, there you go. If if the person that follows gold the most, and and uh, without even asking you personally, I know it's a disproportionate amount of your net worth that's tied to physical gold and silver. If you're not bullish, if you are not bullish and are not double downing. Who in their right mind in the public is, is going to double down? So it's not call your bullion dealer. He's going to tell you the same thing. Look at the GLD shares outstanding. It's actually going down. So in other words, there's more sellers than buyers. Um, it is a real bull market. Uh, governments and central banks around the world are buying gold uh, uh, primarily because uh, of three uh, things. One is... Uh, the fact that inflation has been allowed to run hot. Once the once Powell said inflation will be bumpy, we don't care about 2% right now. It will happen over time. Uh, he basically said, 
we're not going to do anything to stop this. And that's uh, permission to buy precious metals. Secondly, the weaponization of the U.S. dollar. It started, uh, obviously, many years ago with sanctions uh, on countries like Iran or Venezuela or North Korea. It accelerated to now 40 countries are under some sort of a sanction regime. So the weaponization of the world's reserve currency, especially if you're a politician and you look at Russia, one of the top economies in the world, a top 20 economy, a G7, you know, used to be a G7 uh, member. Uh, if you can sanction that country, what prime minister will not hedge uh, his dollar reserve? So what are you going to hedge your dollar reserves? You're going to buy some, some euros, some yens? W what other currency is there? There's gold. So that's the second thing, the weaponization of the U.S. dollar. Um, and the third is deglobalization. When you deglobalize and essentially uh, the 200 countries are not just trading freely with each other, but they have regions, um, then you have the, the, these formations of the BRICS and, uh, um, and other connector economies that are going to come in between the U.S. allies and the non-U.S. allies. And that means that the non-U.S. allies don't need to hold that much, uh, that that you know, uh, that amount of dollars. Just think of China. China is no longer America's biggest trading partner. It's been surpassed by Mexico. So when you have the biggest trading partner in the world, the, the globalization poster child, right? China telling you that despite the fact that America was willing to look away. Let it steal IP, let it steal its middle class, let it steal everything for the sake of China becoming richer and having less incentive to, to wage war against the United States. Basically, the, the, the idea of uh, uh, letting China go into the World Trade Organization and everything else. When that failed and Trump came in with tariffs, which are super anti-globalization, and then his UN speech in 2018 and then the pandemic, which showed that China and the United States cannot work together. Right, because if you're pointing the finger at China and China's pointing the finger at you, and it's the end of globalization. When you have the end of globalization, there is no need for a global reserve currency. So those are the three main drivers. They're just going to accelerate, and that's why we're in a in a phenomenal bull market for gold. And I love that silver is joining because it's it's confirming and expanding the bull market. Thank you, Lior. Um, what's uh, one of the latest projects that you've been working on at Wealth Research Group? Oh, we've been working on a few. Um, one of them, uh, well, I'll, I'll, let, let me spit them out and, and, and you can just sit on in, in the weekend and start going over them uh, one by one, you know, depending on uh, what's really important to you. If you want to know more about how Klaus Schwab is handling this entire thing, slash wealthresearchgroup.com forward slash Klaus. Klaus, that's with a, with a K. Um, we have a great report on silver, which is slash silver. Everything I tell you is basically wealthresearchgroup.com forward slash. Uh, so that's uh, forward slash silver. Um, and yeah, the, my portfolio, uh, always a, always a good one. Um, so that's uh, slash portfolio. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, let me, uh, let me actually uh, take a look and, and, uh, let you know if there's anything else that's important. Oh. Two, two things that are really interesting. One is that uh, what's the next stage between Russia and Ukraine, right? So the next stage is France asserting itself as the behemoth of Europe instead of instead of Germany. And if you want to know how, how France is going to join the war uh, uh, in favor of uh, Ukraine, of course, you have to know that China, I'm sorry, that, that Russia and, and France are already at war. They're already at war in Africa. And it's a bloody one. And that's wealthresearchgroup.com forward slash Africa. Um, I urge you, urge you, if you care about geopolitics and everything else that's going on, download that report. It's not being reported by the media, of course, and it's super critical. Um, I think that's it. That's enough. If uh, anything else, you should just be subscribed to our newsletter and, and stay tuned. We publish Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. Thank you, Lior. Yeah, I'm definitely going to check out the Africa um, report because I'm not familiar with that. It's unbelievable right now. It's uh, uh, there, There's ISIS, there's Wagner Group, Al-Qaeda. It's happening and it's expanding into other countries. So definitely check it out. 
Lior, thank you so much for your time and the good news. <laughs> okay, thank you. Stack wide as the ocean.